Speaking of Julian Wilson and Felipe Toledo, we're about to get underway with the Quicksilver Pro Final. We'll have a brand new champ this season. The yellow jerseys changing hands on both the women and the men's side. And now Toledo trying to call on the gods right now because he's in his first ever championship tour final experience. We see Julian giving way to Toledo's positioning, and now this is the first wave of the final. Felipe goes off the bottom, layback, hammer in the pocket to start. Driving through a nice round cut back into the pocket. Floats over the next section with ease. Now Toledo looking for the finish, a high line wrap. Just to clean it up on the inside corner. Toledo always with more. Goes to the air for the reverse. He'll try to pull that one off and he'll be able to ride out with control. <laughs> Viva Brazil. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Brazilians are fired up here this afternoon. Rainbow de Janeiro, I think they're going to have to rename <laughs> this place, Joe. How'd you like this decision to take this first wave, Potts? Well, you know, getting the ball rolling, obviously four minutes ticked away. This turn, I love that right there where he gives it that extra little bit of tweak, letting those fins slide. Look how light he is on his feet. Look how much speed he gathers when that wave gets flat. He's got the ability to, to, to generate his own speed and then finishes off dynamically, which you're going to have to do here in the finals. It's all about stomping those last turns, but look at this turn right here. Tail out of the back of the wave, puts the pressure on the front foot, and just throws buckets of water into the sky. Straight into that next turn. That's where we talk about that uh, transition between maneuvers, a double pump off the bottom. Watch this turn right here as he gouges that inside rail, and then right at the end there gives it that last little push, releasing the power off the back foot, putting the pressure on the front, which creates that drift on the tail. Philippe Toledo, one of the best at it. I'll tell you what, he does that perfectly. And those three-man heats in round one and round three, or round four, sorry, he's uh, won both those heats. So the only guy that's gone through this entire event without dropping a heat. So that's a, a testament on how good he's been surfing. Well, huge numbers from Julian Wilson, even a near perfect 977. Here comes Toledo from the rocks, always generating speed on small sections. He has some white water to work with. This is just a real little wave to move him down the line a bit. Won't be a keeper in this final, but his opening score is in now from the panel. Starts off with an excellent range number at an 8.0. Do big airs and push the limits of pro surfing. Toledo makes a late decision to grab this wave. Sets it up off the bottom. Front side carve to start. Low road wrap, and it might double up for him. Toledo now into an inside section. Layback dagger. He'll pull that one out, and he has a little room for more. Toledo jams it out in front one more on the inside section he's making his intent clear that he wants to be number one in the world <laughs> well i'll tell you what that uh, that was a great little wave there underneath priority of julian wilson F -f smart surfing from philippe toledo realizing there's not a lot of waves coming through right now this was a very tricky wave to surf there's a little bit of a chop going through it so Felipe had to be very careful not to catch a rail and make sure that his surfing was nice and clean. Look at that turn right there. We talk about that layback snap. It can be done on any section of the way Felipe Toledo does. He's showed us some variety right there. He showed us a couple of different styles of that layback snap. That one the other day where he threw the board right away from him. This one, the board right under his feet. Let's have a look at the turn as he brings it through the inside. This is next shot right here. Just, yeah, just throws those fins out. That was an amazing maneuver. Great agility, great ability there from Felipe Toledo. Impressive finish as we'll take another angle. The layback is one of your favorite spots. This one with the new skull flare. Yep. Nose pick, blow tail, and he sits on it on a tight section. He's able to go for high risk maneuvers and have complete control. Turns it a 6.0. Still, Wilson scoreless, 23 minutes remaining. First to qualify from that beach, Wiggly Dantes from the same zone. Here comes Julian now, opening up the final. Blow tail off the top, he will reverse it. Comes into the next section, tail high, nose pick attempt, and Wilson goes down. After waiting a long time for his start, he ends up incomplete on his second move, and he's still gonna be in a combination spot, Potts. Yeah, I think maybe going a little bit too hard on that second maneuver. You can tell Julian looking back at that wave, saying to himself, you know what, I could have pulled back and, and posted a really good score. I like the fact these kids are going for it. I mean, this is just a whole different look, isn't it? As soon as all those big guns got knocked out, it was uh, exciting heats to watch. The kids are going for it. You know, just a free surf with a jersey on pretty much. 
a different approach to, say, the Mick Fannings or the Kelly Slaters. Have a look at this first turn here. Blows the tail out, just spins it. You can see he moves his feet further up the board and right there, almost pulling that off, sliding sideways. This is uh, the first turn right here. You can see how that back foot comes off the board. I mean, how's the agility? All that weight is over the front foot. He's keeping those fins free. Now he can reconnects the fins, and that gives him his direction back going down the line. Moves his foot back on the pad and then blows the tail out yet again. Look at that front foot sliding all the way forward, making sure he connects with the wave, but then just grabs the, that rail, just grabs a little bit too much. He needed to have that board a little flatter so it skidded across the face of the wave instead of gripping right there. So Julian Wilson let one get away right there. You can see a maxed out crowd here on the beach at Snapper Rocks and they are going crazy during the break. We had both of them get a solid right-hander. Felipe Toledo was able to throw a searing carve into the pocket, not just once, twice, and now a third hook. He was extending the slide in front of the fans, jammed it vert, and started thinking about closing it out, but he dug a rail and went down when he thought he could do no wrong. Also, Wilson, before this wave, was able to get back in this heat. Got a big first turn off the top. Nice round cutback. Beautiful start for Julian. Got a little slowed up with the off-speed section. But now he's going to make up for it on the inside. Winds up off the bottom. Tail high reverse. Something he's been pulling off a few times on finals day. Wilson's biggest answer back so far in this final. Yeah, that's he's got that just on lock. You can see that front foot. The technique that he's got. That back foot stayed well and truly on the pad up until the point of landing which is when he slid it forward just to make sure those fins disengaged and gave him that little ability to be able to spin the board around. So Julian Wilson back in the heat. Philippe Toledo let one slide there. He was on his way to a massive score. I think it's still going to be very substantial. I think it's going to better his 6.0 um, and uh, Julian's still going to be looking for a score. 11.30 remaining on the clock. Big numbers dropping in. The biggest exchange of the contest was ridden during the break. Wilson gets a 9.10 on his answer back. Still second. Meanwhile, Toledo drops a 9.6. Even with the fall, extends his lead to a 17.6 combined total in the lead. Wow. And that was with a wipeout. 9.6 with the fall off. He wasn't, didn't have the same quality. But of course, when you look inside and you see exactly, as we see behind me here, Julian's going to give it his all, of course, right? Look at how laid over his bottom turns are. There's that whip and spin. So stylish. Such a great approach. Gosh, this is fun stuff. This is the best heat in the house. <laughs> you definitely have it, Pete. Thanks so much for that insight. It's a new school matchup with Julian versus Toledo. We've seen a couple of lulls. We had Wilson wait over 15 minutes for his start, but he knew that we still have plenty of swell out there for this big clash in the final. Toledo leading. Wilson needs an 8.51 with more waves on the way. Toledo in position, and he's going to glide in, setting his pace for a first turn. Blows the tail, pulls it back around quickly, climbs over the next section, goes off the bottom, tail high reverse. Toledo is on fire. He'll wrap it back into the pocket. Making no mistakes, he's into the inside wedge, the cleanest roundhouse wrap we've seen on the inside corner, and Toledo wow, Joe. is going to another level in front of our eye spots. Oh my, we're always uh, we're asking the question, has he got anything left in the tank? Well, I'll tell you what, he posted a 9.60. Is that better? Pete, you saw that one from the water once again. He had such an easy glide in. What was the best part of the wave for you? That wave kept oh. on giving. What do you think it was? <laughs> that was that air. Oh, my gosh. I, you, we talk about next level, going next level. He is feeding. He's got himself pumped into this crowd, and he is just unbelievable how easily he pulled this air off. And look, big snap right behind it. Another one up and over. But then this is unbelievable. Just out into the flats. He just watched it. He's got a big smile. All I see is teeth on his face right now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Get a camera on that guy. I mean, just unbelievable. How can you not go? Is this a 10? What do you think, Potts? Well, I think it's up there with his 9.60, two different approaches, Pete. But what he's doing is he's showing the judges everything in his bag of tricks. Here's that angle I was talking about. Look at this. Watch. Oh. oh. Just in the rotation, in the crease, like unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. We see that nose pick rotation. There's not a whole lot of guys on the top 34 that can do that nose pick. 
even coming out of a major carve. Pete, you're saying his carves are looking like the best carves you've seen in this event. He's adding that air game, proving that he's unbeatable on Snapper Rocks conditions like this. Wilson needs a 9-6-7. It's coming close to decision time. Toledo without priority will grab this wave. Comes off the bottom, layback hammer. Deep off the bottom again, he floats it. Coming around the corner, driving through a huge carve and tail release. He pulls it off. Straight up, Verdon ditches the fins. Toledo blows the tail into reverse. <laughs> Can we give that a perfect 10 pots? What more do you want to see from him? Wow. <laughs> Go, Philippe. That's what his dad's just said there. Right there, that, that one turn was um, not a turn from an 18-year-old. Come on, that's, that's a turn we expect from a man. This is uh, Philippe Toledo coming of age right here, right now, in front of the world. And he's going to post another 9-plus ride, Joe. Let's have a look at it. Julian Wilson, let this one go. Opening turn like we've seen, dynamic. He carries so much speed. Look at this right there. Oh, my goodness. Tweaks it right at the end and comes out of that straight into another turn. Seamless, fast, radical surfing from Philippe Toledo. Another nine-point ride. Easy. And one of the raddest claims we've seen, he's blowing his own mind with this performance. Felipe Toledo, Whoa. we're into the countdown. Felipe Toledo is the Quicksilver Pro champ and looks like he could finish with the best number in the sport as we wait for one more to lock in. Come on. Wow. The family well, he's Toledo won it. celebrating and now just waiting to see how high that last number will come. Remember, Potts, it was without priority. There it is. A 10-point ride for the young Brazilian Felipe Toledo. A perfect 10 to kick the, to finish off. Uh, I mean, he already had the hit one. Decided to put the cherry on the top, Joe. A huge way to finish. A memorable moment finishing with a 10. And he wants to let the crowd know that he is the new world number one. Eliminating Julian Wilson on his home court. His first final ever and his first CT win to start off the season. Wow.